We Happy Few is a game in which English people go to desperate lengths to convince themselves that they're not living in an absolute shit though. I think it might be the most realistic game ever made. Meet Arthur Hastings. Yeah, that's right. The English t- I've been forced to play as is named after a made-up king and a town in Sussex, the most English place in England. We get it, you f- English lads. What do you mean is French Canadians making this? Well, they should know better then. This is bollocks. Anyway, Arthur's chucked away his happy pills and he's realised the nice 60s world he's living in is in fact an absolute nightmare. It's like that telly programme, The Prisoner, except that was filmed in Wales, so these developers are all over the f- shop. That said, you do get to stab a man with a pointy stick in this one, so fair play. The game's like one of them survival stealth games the internet will tell you are really popular, but that you never meet anyone who actually plays them. It gets off to a banging start when the first thing I get to do is censor some newspapers. I spotted this advert for Victory Meat, which sounds like it'd definitely give you the shits. I censored that one well quick. I had my fill of misdirecting the proletariat, so let's do some escaping. First I avoided this wrong un, then I got a fright from this full motion video wrong un, then I walked into this room of wrong uns eating rat meat. That'll give you the shits and all, lads. Anyway, after getting knocked about by a couple of wrong un bobbies, I got to the sewers, which is where you learn all about being a cheeky little stealth boy. I can lockpick, I can hack, I can pretend to read a newspaper like some perv in the park. All your classic abilities. Look at Rupert, you. Too much rat meat, isn't it? Yeah, let me pop you on the bog, purge yourself. Go on, boy. You can also do a little bit of fighting, which in this game is basically watching mimes punch the piss out of each other. This one clearly had what I call runs rage. On you go, mate. Copy Rupert over there. It'll all be out of you soon. Eventually, you actually get to play the game properly, which seems to involve running around the countryside, looking at bomb buildings and nicking stuff. I think the story's got something to do with Nazis, which is very clever compulsion games, because the only people I hate almost as much as the English is the Nazis, which kind of makes me like the English by comparison. I mean, that's just some Yuri Geller mind game shit, isn't it? What does this plane writing say? I bet it says, Victory Meat makes you shit. Yes, the plane writing says, Victory Meat makes you shit. I stumbled upon this literal shit house, which had a load of creepy looking baby regalia upstairs. When will they stop crying? How about when you stop filling their baby pipes with f-ing victory meat, love? Forget football, kids. I tell you what's not coming home. Your mum. And who can blame her? Stay on this. Eventually, I met this mank lad who wanted me to get his war medals back for some hooligans. If it didn't all make me f-ing sick, I'd actually be quite impressed at how many different British accents there are in the game. You got poshos, northerns, scouts northerns, cockneys, towies, and whatever this one is. Wish him well on his journey. You know what accent I didn't hear though? I'll give you one f-ing guess I can. Absolute piss take. It all got a bit busy here. The hooligans caught me and I had to kill some lad dressed like Pete Doherty. They threw him at a couple of Eleanor Bonham Carters. After I dealt with them though, I had to sneak around the hooligans based on bottles and that. Put my pointy stick up a couple more boys, bit more sneaking, and then the medals were mine. I'm told those medals would lead me to a new area with a story of intrigue and conspiracy to uncover in procedurally generated worlds filled with scary 60s people. And all that sounds great, but my demo ended with something much more incredible. Something Thing I didn't think science could fathom. I saw a man who could piss forever. This is amazing. Anyway, that's basically like having the runs around the front, and we all know the solution for that. On you go. Well, if you liked any of that, what about a bit of Jurassic Park nonsense? Or why not have a bang on this pure farming one? Because no f- watch that.